Hello, my name is Dale Dufay. I'm going to do this video for my brother. It's dedicated to him because he passed away on Christmas Day 2021. Here's a obituary in the Naperville Sun. Uh, we were both, both born and raised in Naperville. And it reads, Loving son and brother passed away December 25th, 2021 after losing his battle to cancer. He was born December 10th, 1958, preceded in death by mother Gloria Dufay, survived by father Clark Dufay, twin brother Dale, and sisters Connie, Darlene, and Doreen. Dwayne was always a comedian in life and life of the party, always adventurous and a lot of fun to be around. He loved animals, and always had dogs and cats in his life. Dwayne was a talented carpenter, all-around tradesman, and builder of furniture. Dwayne was also an amazing cartoonist, illustrator, and architectural designer. He loved antiques and had many collections over the years, including antique fans. He was a real go-getter and a hard worker. Dwayne had a big heart and was very generous and kind to others. He will be greatly missed. Uh, now I'm going to go over some uh, pictures uh, that it kind of, this will be a good good way to do this. Let's start off with, the, this is another obituary from the funeral home here in Michigan. I had them do up the obituary and I kept it real simple. Uh, the other one my sister Darlene did for the Naperville Sun. But here it just simply says Dwayne Chris Dufay, 63, passed away on Saturday, December 25th, 2021. Born December 10th, 1958 in Naperville, Illinois to Clark and Gloria Dufay. The cremation has taken place and there will be no services for Dwayne. Uh, I still have to go pick up his ashes. I'm not really sure how difficult that's going to be. Uh, but this whole thing has been... Uh, rather difficult, as you can imagine. Here's this, the most recent picture, which we used in the obituary. Uh, my sister took this not too long ago. Uh, and this is Dwayne and I when we were, you know, just kids, probably four or five years old, probably 1962. Here's Dwayne right here. Uh, we, uh, we were twins, but obviously we're, we were not identical. And if you can see in some of the colored pictures, his eyes are blue and mine are brown. But here we are again. Probably this is a couple of years old at the most, 1960. Here again is Dwayne, and this is me. Uh, you can see we both had pretty big heads back then. Uh, here's another picture. This is probably 1963. Uh, this is me, of course, and my twin brother, Dwayne. Here we are, probably about 60, 1963, 64, uh, sitting on a swinging bench at our house. This is a house my father built. Uh, it was, uh, we were actually all living in the basement of the house until the upper part was built. And I remember living in the basement for a while uh, while the house was being built. It was all kind of enjoyable. There's my father who built the house, Clark Dufay. There's Dwayne on his lap. See how big he is? And here's myself. Uh, we were both pretty big babies when we were born. And this is obviously the kitchen in our house. And uh, it sure brings back memories looking at all these. Here we are with my father again. This is me and this is Dwayne. And this is one of my sisters. I think that's Darlene. Here we are on that bench again. Uh, this is in a sandbox. And our, we lived in a rural area by Chicago in a town called Naperville. It was quite rural at the time we were growing up. There was only like 7,000 uh, people living there in the town. It was basically a farm town. But now there's almost a quarter million people living there. Uh, it's only like 35 miles west of Chicago. So it turned out to be a, a pretty large community. And this is the house across the street. I wound up living in that house um, years later, renting it. But behind us here in this direction is the DuPage River. We grew up along the river. 
That was always fun. This is uh, Darlene, my sister. Here's Dwayne and myself. This is our neighbor's house here. He was a con into concrete construction. Uh, his name was Rogie. Uh, but again, the river was right back here. And it was a beautiful, beautiful place to grow up. And here's here we are with our father again. There's Dwayne. I remember these trees when my mom planted them all. And by the time we grew up, they were huge. This is a willow tree here, a weeping willow. And here we are in front of the evergreen tree. It's Dwayne there. Uh, and it's a hot neighbors across the street. They owned all this land here. And that road there is called River Drive. So we lived on River Drive. Here's our whole family. Well, this is before my youngest sister was born. But there's Connie, Darlene, Dwayne, and myself, and my father, Clark, and my beautiful mother, Gloria. This is Dwayne and I in the Illinois, I'm, I'm sorry, Mississippi River in Illinois on a riverboat trip. Uh, this is probably in, uh, 2010, I'm guessing. There's my brother, Dwayne. He was always a bit bigger than me, uh, but we were about, he was maybe an inch taller than me too. I'm 6'1", I think he was 6'3", 6'4", even, so maybe a couple inches taller. Uh, here we are at my oldest sister. This is, I think, before or after her wedding. There's Dwayne, uh, and this is myself. I would guess this was probably, oh, 1974 or something like that. And here we are again with my sister Darlene and her dog. This is Dwayne in one of his Doberman pinchers. He had uh, Dobermans throughout his whole life, naturally. They didn't live long, the dogs. Uh, so every time one died, he'd get another one. And he always called them Sadie. And they were always female Dobermans. He always got the red ones, too, these color ones. So he was always uh, into dogs very much. And this is his truck, too, in fact. He always collected and always made sure he had old trucks. Uh, this was, I believe, a, a 1964 Ford pickup here. I could be wrong on that, so don't hold me to that. Uh, and these are uh, benches that we we both made. We both made these benches out of cedar, and he made those stock rail racks on the truck. And here we are with our father in 1966. I remember he bought this van, and he had this logo made for his company. Uh, I always remember that face he did there, you know, that on the logo. I always thought that was pretty cool. But here we are with our father. We worked, grew up in the trades. That's how we knew the trades, because we uh, grew up in them. There's one of the willow trees that got really big, weeping willows. <laughs> and here we are at the Brookfield Zoo in Brookfield, Illinois, one of the greatest zoos in the country. Uh, this is the fountain, this real famous fountain. Uh, this has got to be like 1963 or 64. That's my sister, Connie. That's my sister, Darlene. And there's Dwayne and then myself. And this is Dwayne picking up my father, Clark. Able to just, he was always pretty strong, just picked him up over his shoulder. Uh, and this is in our living room in our house on River Drive in Naperville, Illinois. Here we are, I believe it's, um, it could be, this is my youngest sister, Doreen. It could be her birthday or it could be Dwayne and uh, myself's birthday. Uh, this is our dog, Heidi, a, um, a dachshund. My mom always had dachshunds. This is my father, Clark, in our kitchen, in our house and that my father built in Naperville, Illinois. I'm guessing this is probably uh, 1968 or 69 or later. Could be, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm trying to figure out how old Doreen is here. She's the youngest. And here we all are. I believe this is in the 70s. You could tell by the car. There's Dwayne. He always had beer in his hand. My sister Darlene. Doreen, the youngest. See how she's got Led Zeppelin. I think uh, this is Connie, my oldest sister. And this is myself. And I think uh, we bought tickets to the Led Zeppelin concert and we couldn't. It was canceled because John Bonham had uh, 
died. Uh, so they canceled the concert in Chicago. And we were so disappointed. I remember we were really looking forward to seeing that. So that's the time period is right around there. You can see the weeping willows up here, how big they got. And this is my brother and I in Denver, Colorado. I used to live here on this property with my uncle Howard. And this is a 1956, I believe. It could have been a 1958 Chevy panel truck that I was planning on restoring. Never did get to it. But that's a pretty cool shot. I used, again, I was living in Denver. And my brother, Dwayne, would come out about twice a year to visit me. I always look forward to that, of course. Uh, and this is uh, my brother, Dwayne, and I in California in 1966, I believe. And we used to always, my parents, religiously, every weekend, we either went to the ocean or up in the mountains in California. So it was always, uh, it was an adventurous time. We were only out there for about a year. And here we are at Christmas, probably 1963 or 4, maybe 65. That's myself, my brother Dwayne. Uh, I think that's da that's Darlene and that's Connie, our sisters. And here, here's my brother and I with my dad, Clark Dufay. These are tractors we got for Christmas, obviously. Um, that was a problem with being twins. You always had to have the same clothes and everything and the same gifts and stuff. Yeah, so that it wasn't always that great being a twin and here we are at another christmas here's the same tractors so it's the same christmas we have the same outfit on that's here we are with connie my oldest sister and darling doreen uh or, or uh darling i'm sorry my my mom named all of us with d's except for connie so that's that's darling Dwayne, connie and myself at a christmas at our house and here we are in California again. I remember going here and seeing the steam engine. It was always my favorite place because I was fascinated by it, as you could see. <laughs> here I was staring at the thing. I couldn't get enough of it. And Dwayne was always pretty easily bored and was never interested in things like that. And this is my our father, Clark. Uh, again, this is probably 1962, 63-ish area. I think that's where we went to visit one time, but we haven't moved out there yet. And here we are in the front yard of our house on River Drive. Like that's River Drive right there, old dirt road. And this willow tree, you know, grew to epic proportions. Uh, again, there's Dwayne, uh, youngest sister Doreen, myself, Darlene, and Connie. And here we are in. Golden Gate Park. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. We Again, we went there quite regularly. And there's my father, Clark, Connie, our oldest sister, Dwayne, and myself. And here we are in California, probably the same year. That's my uh, dad's father, my grandma. I don't know who that is. It's a relative out in California. And here's Dwayne and myself with my mom and my dad, Gloria and Clark Dufay. And here we are in a swing set at our house in Naperville, Illinois, on River Drive. There's Connie, Clark, myself, Dwayne. See how he's always clowning around? He was always like that. And this is our youngest sister, Doreen. And here again is my mom and dad with the twins, and Dwayne and myself, uh, with looks like Dar Darlene there. Here we are in another Christmas. I used to really always look forward to see how we always had to wear the same things. Uh, but there's Dwayne and myself and Darlene and Connie. Here we are at another Christmas. Oh, look, at we're not wearing the same thing. <laughs> Something must have happened. <laughs> but we always got the same gifts, as you can see here. Uh, the candy canes full of M&Ms and things like that. And there's uh, shortly after my youngest sister was born. And there's my two other sisters, Connie and Darlene. Here we are doing the most, the most, you know, dreaded are doing any kind of lawn work because we had a huge yard and it was always, you know, like such a monumental task to do any chores around there. 
uh, Senator Duane again, Father Clark and myself. Here we are at Adventureland. It was an amusement park uh, near Chicago, pretty close to our house. Uh, and it eventually closed because, you know, there's, there was too much, uh, you know, once there was a huge amusement park called Riverside in Chicago, Illinois, and once that closed, all the residents in Chicago started coming here to Adventureland, and it just basically destroyed the place. Uh, but we used to go there all the time. You can see the roller coaster up here. But we went there all the time uh, until they closed. That property is still like there. It's really weird but they haven't developed on it yet. Maybe they have by now, uh, but it always brings back memories. There's Dwayne again, you know, always trying to be calmed down. My dad, oh, he used to always make my dad laugh. Uh, and that's myself, uh, Doreen, and then there's Darlene. I don't know where Connie is. Uh, that's probably our lunch too. My dad used to always, he was always such a cheapskate, <laughs> bring our own lunch. Here we are at home in our living room. Or this looks like someone else's house. I'm sorry. This is someone else's house. This might be my grandma's house. Actually, I think it is. There's the Docks Hound, Heidi, Dwayne, myself, Darlene, and Doreen, and my mom, Gloria. This is uh, over here is one of the... You can see on the lower right here, there's a, a team of oxen. Uh, my grandpa used to actually make these. He made the animals out of clay and he did all the harnessing and everything. So he used to do that because he was paralyzed from the waist down. And he spent his time making these and selling them. He made Budweiser wagons and everything, you name it. Here we are in the beach in California again. There's Dwayne, uh, Doreen, Darlene, Connie, myself, and my father, Clark Dufay. And that's it. That's all the pretty much all the pictures I got. Um, you know, he, Dwayne will be greatly missed. I was fortunate enough to have him. He stayed with me uh, while he was dying. It was the hardest thing I ever had to, ever had to do in my whole life. I was watch my brother die, and he died here peacefully in my presence. So it was wonderful for him. He didn't die alone. He was with, uh, you know, my brother was with me, uh, you know, so I took really good care of him and feel pretty good about that. But it was, again, very, very difficult. He had, you know, lung cancer. He survived throat cancer, and then he got lung cancer right after that. And all the chemotherapy treatments were too much for him, and they actually had to, it actually destroyed his bone marrow and he developed leukemia. So the blood trans, and this is shortly before he started, you know, getting the real heavy uh, chemotherapy and whatnot. And, you know, eventually succumbed to it. He's just, you know, couldn't take it anymore. But again, he he died peacefully and uh, with, with me. And I feel really good about that because I live in Michigan and he was getting all his treatments here in Michigan and he wound up back in Illinois with an old girlfriend he had from the 80s and she took care of him real good until he, you know, he had to stay here with me because the treatments were closer to my house and it made more sense that he moved here. Plus the place he was living at uh, with his girlfriend, a beautiful house in Naperville, Illinois, burnt down a day after our birthday, December 11th. 2021 the place he was living actually burnt down so he was forced to move in with me the last couple of weeks of his life now because of that fire um, as, as bad as that fire was he actually lost everything I mean it's just terrible I think that's why he finally uh, just kind of let go uh, he lost everything he owned in that fire and then passed away on Christmas Day right here at my house and he will be greatly missed. And I thank you very much for letting me indulge you and talking about my wonderful brother. And he will, again, he will be greatly missed. And thank you for watching. And we'll talk at you later. Love you.